Well, I want to thank you all for uh, taking the time to uh, uh, view this Zoom uh, presentation here where I'm going to be talking about the, the research division of the Department of Medical Imaging. My name is Terry Matsunaga and I'm a professor in medical imaging with an adjunct appointment in biomedical engineering. Okay. So I'd like to talk to you first about our research activities. Uh, we have a very extensive research program in conjunction with the clinical program uh, in medical imaging at the University of Arizona. And I'm going to highlight some of the uh, programs that we do have that could potentially be interesting to you should you want to pursue a career as a clinician researcher. So this is a, uh, a picture of uh, taken last year of uh, some of our department, a, a small part of our department, uh, including uh, professors in our department as well as some of the graduate students and postdocs. And I might add that that's yours truly up there, uh, my portly self, but uh, I'm, I'm uh, hopefully I'm an instrumental part of the department as well. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into our research mission here at the university in the medical imaging department. Uh, we feel that we are an integral component in our department. One of the things that separates us from other departments is that we are multidisciplinary. We are clinicians, we are researchers, and some are actually hybrids, are clinician researchers. And this is uh, something that might be a, a, a very attractive uh, point for you. Uh, we're, we feel it's essential for improving and strengthening educational and clinical efforts. Um, all of us uh, in our medical imaging department, we also have adjunct uh, appointments in biomedical engineering, optical sciences, applied mathematics, and other departments on campus. And we all take part in, in education. We teach classes. I, for example, teach uh, a biomedical engineering class with six of my colleagues in medical engineering. And we talk about drug discovery, medical imaging techniques, uh, etc. Our focus is on basic science and technology development with a, with a translational focus. So we not only are, are working on the hardware, I as a, as a researcher work on contrast agents for ultrasound, but we also are working on transitioning and translating this into the bedside, which is a big buzzword with the NIH as well as other funding institutions. We want to translate this and make our, our, our technologies very, very practical and useful. We want to promote advancement and implementation of state-of-the-art infrastructure technologies that impact imaging and informatic systems throughout UAHN, University of Arizona Health Network, as well as the rest of the nation. Now, getting, focusing down or drilling down into our research division, we have 15 core faculty. Our main appointments are in medical imaging. However, I did say that we do have uh, joint appointments in engineering, math, optical sciences. We have five core associated faculty. I think that's a little more now. And we have a very large ancillary research staff, including a doctor of veterinary medicine, Gail Stevenson, and research coordinators. We have approximately 20 graduate students MS and PhD, and frequent undergraduates. I have graduate students and undergraduates who are working in my lab. And of course, the associated administrative staff who we can't do without. They're, they're such an instrumental part of our department as well. Over the last five years, approximately five years, uh, uh, our PIs, our uh, faculty has generated more than $30 million in funding. Uh, radiology co-PI or collaborators have also generated an additional 11 million. Uh, we have over 250 peer-reviewed publications and we maintain that number as well. Um, we have over, we've written over 50 books and book chapters. Uh, we attend quite a lot of oral con conference presentations. So we make our presence known to the rest of the world. Uh, we have greater than 80 students, including graduates, postdocs, and undergraduates. And we were ranked in 2017 uh, 34th in the nation. I can't remember exactly what we are uh, this year, 2020, but, but we are very, very competitive and, and very, very uh, integral. 
Our major sources of support are the National Institute of Health, and that's our primary uh, uh, source of support. I have a NIH funding myself. Uh, the National Science Foundation and the NSF, the State of Arizona, Department of Defense, which has a very big cancer research program, uh, the College of Medicine, Engineering, Optical Sciences, and Sciences, we get some, some minor support of uh, foundations, as well as industry partners. So some of us have what's referred to as academic industrial partnerships, which is uh, something that's blossoming, actually, as a funding source through the NIH, uh, who really wants to promote uh, collaborations and extensive collaborations between academic institutions and industry. So let's drill down a little bit more into some of the actual uh, uh, departments or, or groups in our division, research division. We have a NIBIB P41 for gamma ray imaging where we develop new gamma ray instruments with improved spatial and temporal resolution. Uh, of course, we want to make these all real time. That's uh, the best, the best uh, objective here. Uh, we work on state-of-the-art detectors, electronics and systems, adaptive and multimodality imaging, as well as image science and image quality. And hence, that's where our collaborations, for example, with optical sciences comes into play, where we want to improve our image science and our image quality uh, so that uh, we, can, we can integrate that into, for example, telemedicine, which you may be a very instrumental part in your careers later on. MRI, which is a, a very big component in medical imaging radiology research. Uh, we want to develop new technologies for clinical and research applications. Again, I emphasize translational research, which you all can be an instrumental part of in your careers. Accelerated scanning, parametric imaging, signal image processing, so we can get, expedite these images to the clinician faster, and technology and applications there. Uh, new frontiers in ultrasound imaging. There are two of us in the basic research uh, arena, myself and, and Russ Witte. Uh, we're developing cutting edge technologies such as photoacoustics. In other words, uh, imaging, an imaging modality where you uh, activate tissue with light and then you actually capture the image with sound, so photoacoustics, thermoacoustics, and acoustoelectric imaging for lymphatics, guiding cancer therapy, and functional brain imaging. So this actually shows you that we are a multidisciplinary group. And when you drill down into some of our subspecialties, we are very, very multidimensional and multidisciplinary. And we want to develop contrast agents for early detection of cancer and cardiovascular research, which, for which I am uh, very, very intimately involved. Our next generation in CT, computed tomography uh, technology, uh, where we have compression-free, fully 3D, dedicated breast CT imaging, low-dose CT, uh, multispectral imaging from single ac acquisitions, and patient-specific, disease-specific imaging techniques. In your future, you're going to see uh, very personalized medicine. I mean, that's one of the the uh, disciplines that's really coming on the horizon. And to be patient-specific and disease-specific is going to be an instrumental part of your careers in medical imaging. Optical imaging, where we have optical biopsies. Uh, some, some in our department are working on handheld optical biopsy instruments, window chamber models, and this is primarily in the uh, uh, animal preclinical models where we can do, look at tumor microenvironments uh, as well as multimodality imaging as well. So let's talk about that, some of those uh, different uh, modalities. Optical uh, biopsy, uh, Dr. Art Dimitro and is uh, the head of this and he's developed the window chamber model for tumor, looking at tumor microenvironments. This is actually instrumental in some of my research that I do 
in the preclinical arena where we can actually look at uh, contrast agents coursing through uh, capillaries in, in the microenvironment. We can actually also distinguish between what's inside the vasculature in those very small environments as well as what's in the tissue. And that's very, very important for things like contrast agent delivery or drug delivery, nanotechnology, very, very important, as well as multimodality imaging. Confocal microlaparoscopes, a real-time optical biopsy. Here's just an example, and, and if you're interested in pursuing this a little farther, there's a, there's a web link for you. The NIBIB Center for Gamma Ray Imaging, which uh, was headed by Harry Barrett, who was one of our, our major, major researchers here. He's, he's quite an all-star, <laughs> uh, who's, who's now an emeritus. Uh, uh, but has now been taken over by Luca Cauchy, who is an assistant professor in medical imaging. And I might add that Luca just received a very distinguished award for the national, I believe it's called National Foundation for Inventors. He's one of the most fertile minds here, here at the university for um, uh, writing new patents and, and developing new technologies. And he was awarded uh, very, very uh, well for that there. Lars Furenlid, who is also the co-director for Gamma Ray Imaging, and he has a lot of other uh, programs himself. Uh, he incidentally also has an academic industrial partnership grant where he works very, very closely with the private sector to develop new technologies and spawn new technologies as well. Eric Clarkson, a mathematician, I might want to add, and, and some of his colleagues here, I might want to add one since uh, the focus of this uh, residence interview as well as residence uh, uh, program uh, is to spawn interest in, in clinician researchers. And we have one here, Phil, Phil Kuo, who's an MD, PhD. He's done extensive work on MRI. He was one of the discoverers of, of, uh, of uh, gadolinium toxicity uh, in, in the uh, in about 10 years ago, a decade ago. Um, he's also uh, was a chair of nuclear medicine and now he's devoting much of his, his efforts in, into the research arena here. So a classic example of, of a true clinician researcher. The MRI team, uh, which is headed by uh, Maria Altbach, who's the vice chair now of our department. She's my boss. Uh, as well as Ali Bilgin, who does a lot of uh, uh, computer engineering. Uh, uh, Manoj uh, Saranathan, who uh, also does biomedical engineering. Jean-Philippe Galanz. And Diego Martin, who's now at the, uh, um, uh, in Montreal as the chair of the radiology department. But he still continues to do work with, with Maria on an NIH grant. Uh, ultrasound team, Russell Witte, um, who is a, 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 a noted authority in photoacoustics and thermoacoustics. I'm a contrast agent person, it's commonly referred to as a bubble person there. Sometimes I'm referred to as the bubble man here uh, for ultrasound imaging, as well as uh, some people in the private sector, uh, uh, Evan Unger, who um, is quite the entrepreneur and is working on contrast agents for ultrasound. The CT team, uh, uh, with a particular forte in breast imaging, Andrew Carreras, uh, as well as uh, Srinivasan Vedantam, uh, very strong in, uh, in breast cancer imaging there. So in summary, I'd like to say the University of Arizona Medical Imaging, we're nationally recognized clinical department with cutting edge technology, and I want to emphasize we are cutting edge uh, clinical and research departments. We have uh, a, a lot of federal, state, and industry support and collaborations, and we have many resources, opportunities, and support for residents to, to help spawn your careers should you, should you uh, take the approach of becoming a clinician researcher. We're here to, to, to help you with that that uh, goal and endeavor. And so finally, I would like to say that 
uh, I wish you all the best with your careers and I hope that you'll seriously consider the University of Arizona Medical Imaging Department and, and should you come here, we are primarily concerned with your health and safety. So, go Wildcats, mask up.